Hi everyone, I'm Anna, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you a full tour of my desk setup for early 2022. So here is the shed and as you come inside you can see that I've got uh, two desks. First of all I just want to apologise for the background noise, I'm outside and next door has a water feature so if you can hear running water that is just the background noise. But yeah this is my, my shed as a whole, I'll give you a little overview. I did a previous video when I first redid the shed and made it into like this office space and I'll link that video below if you'd like to see the whole video of what it used to look like but I have made a few changes since then and use it as a more functional office space. So first of all I'll just point out what these strange things sticking out from the ceiling are in case you wondered. They're actually a mount to fit the softbox lights on that I have. I've got two of these softbox lights. And the idea is that you can mount one there and one there, and then they shine at the back. And you can use this area here at the back as like a backdrop for videos. I've made a couple of videos there, um, but generally I haven't made too many. Because I prefer to do kind of voiceover style videos. So the first desk I've got, the main desk that I use, is just an IKEA Linman desk. They're very affordable. It's nothing special. To be honest, the material of it isn't the best as it tends to mark a little bit. I don't know if you can see any marks on there. But overall, it does the job. It's cheap and I think it looks fairly good as well. So on the left hand side, I've got one of these little fake IKEA plants. And then I've got this AOC monitor, I think it's 27 inches and then what I do is I use this as an external display and I plug my new 2021 MacBook Pro into it. So far it's working really well. It's a 1080p display, uh, nothing special and it does the job for me. So the monitor is actually on top of one of these monitor risers. You can get these off Amazon or eBay. Uh, it's an aluminium one. And then underneath I have two of these Lacey one terabyte hard drives. I use this to put all the video files on for my YouTube channel. And as you can see, the monitor is not mounted on a stand or anything. This is because previously I had the monitor mounted on like a desk mount and then I actually lost all of the pieces that allow me to put the stand back on the monitor so it sort of rests here and it's actually quite a good height for being sat down at the desk uh, it doesn't really hurt my neck or anything so it seems to work well I've got two of these little USB Logitech speakers either side the sound quality is fairly good and once again they're affordable uh, something you'll notice that other than basically my laptop, MacBook, which is the most expensive item in here by far, uh, pretty much most of the desk setup is quite affordable and that's how I try to keep it as I think you can get some really good affordable tech these days that does the job. So I've got this LED uh, mouse mat, it's like a gaming mouse mat. Unfortunately I haven't got enough USBs. Uh, I'm using this adapter currently to plug everything into. Um, so I may need to get maybe a bigger adapter but it, it actually lights up around the edge like a proper gaming mouse pad and I actually picked this up brand new from a charity shop for literally like £2 so it just shows that you can really get some bargains out there and then my keyboard and my mouse once again they look a little gaming-y I do usually tend to spend a bit more money on a keyboard as the cheap ones usually aren't up to much quality However, I picked this one up from Amazon for about £20. Uh, it's got obviously the backlit lighting. And to be honest, the, the keys on it aren't too bad. They're not too mushy. They, they tend to do the job. And it doesn't feel too cheap either. Obviously, it's not going to match the one on the MacBook. But I only tend to use this setup ever so occasionally. So it's fine for when I'm using it anyway. 
and then I've got this gaming mouse both of these are unbranded I'm not really sure on the brand uh, and I actually picked this up brand new from a car boot for once again like two pound it changes color and all of those uh, it's got a few programmable buttons on the side and it's nice and clicky it does have quite a good quality to it it feels good in the hand so that's like the main objects on my desk uh, for the desk chair I'm using one from IKEA it's the larger one I'll link it below if I can find the link for it or we'll put the name on the screen and if you see the floor it is a little bit mucky down there that is just because it's it's a shed basically so you walk in the dirt from outside and instead of filming this desk set up tour having cleaned it uh, meticulously I thought I'd film it a bit more naturally so you can get an idea of what it looks like day to day as opposed to it kind of being staged which some of them tend to be so moving on over to the right hand side over here there's just the windows and the blinds I've got this Alex drawer unit down here it provides lots of storage I've got some cleaning materials in there uh, and some more accessories just a roll of sellotape don't really need much in here those are some LED kits and stickers and just some miscellaneous items down there so that tends to, I don't really use that drawer unit much just tend to put miscellaneous items in over here I've got my little subscribe to Anna uh, plaque it was made off Etsy really love that and then a the couple of items at the back here are actually for the streaming setup I'm hoping to get started on the channel unfortunately my internet speeds just aren't up to scratch at the moment but when I get that sorted I'll be using this little Orky 1080p webcam it's on a little Gorillapod tripod and then I've got the Ava Media Mini uh, gaming capture card this item here is like a LED projector like stars on the ceiling and all around the walls it looks really cool and then here I've got my blue snowball ice microphone I use that for all of my videos it was about £50 I believe uh, and I've been using it for years it's, it was well worth the money in my opinion and it works really well uh, when editing the footage in Audacity so over here obviously as I mentioned earlier here's my new 2021 MacBook Pro the M1 MacBook Pro and it's actually resting on this laptop stand I got for Christmas kindly it's a nice aluminium laptop stand and it works really well there I've got it plugged into one of these USB-C docks this was off Amazon and it was actually like 40 odd pound it was quite expensive because I needed a lot of ports it's got an Ethernet it's got USBs HDMI uh, etc on the back I've got this home studio sign the actual desk itself here this wooden desk it was also from IKEA so all the furniture in here was from IKEA and I can't remember what it was I think it's like a kitchen worktop type item but it's really good quality uh, and it looks good on video as well which is nice if I can find the link to it I'll link it below as well and then the other side was another Alex unit but it's like the cupboard design instead of the drawers so that's pretty much everything the cable management is an ideal there's some shove pack there but this is generally what it looks day to day I thought I'd do a more natural type of video down here I've got my electric heater and those LEDs I uh, really need heating this time of year and overall I'm really happy with it it's, it's nothing too spectacular but what's most important to me is functionality it's easy to use I can sit down and get started straight away and I do love my tech so it's great having some useful pieces of tech without being overwhelmed by the amount of tech you have so that was my desk tour setup hopefully you enjoyed it it's not the most impressive setup by any means uh, but it's practical and useful and I use it fairly often so if you found this video interesting please let me know in the comments down below and thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel as I make regular videos on a wide variety of topics such as technology, making money online, business, reselling and much more. So thanks for watching, 
hopefully I'll see you in my next video.